On our planet, plants utilize the energy of sunlight to manufacture sugars and other essential organic compounds by a process known as photosynthesis. Photosynthesis converts radiant energy from the sun into a form of stored chemical energy that plants can use. But along the way, photosynthesis also generates an important waste product, oxygen. In other words, the same process that supplies the energy plants need just happens to also produce a waste product that supplies energy to humans and many other animals. If that weren't amazing enough, photosynthesis must have access to just the right kind of energy in order to work. And what energy does the photosynthesis need? It's the very small region of the electromagnetic spectrum, which is the visual region. This is the region which powers photosynthesis. In fact, it's light, light energy. Light energy has the correct characteristics to raise the atoms of organic chemistry to levels for chemical interactions. So light is the right electromagnetic energy for photosynthesis. When you look at the, the sun, you find the sun turns out nearly all of its energy in the visible spectrum. <laughs> so the sun is pouring out just the energy you need for photosynthesis. And so the radiant energy output of the sun happens to be in exactly the same region of the electromagnetic spectrum that you need for photosynthesis. <laughs> The Earth's atmosphere has just the right composition to allow the visible light we need to reach the surface of the planet, while largely absorbing many other kinds of radiation that are dangerous to life. There are an awesome set of coincidences in the atmosphere which happen to allow the light of the sun to come right down to the surface of the Earth where it can empower photosynthesis, where miraculously the atmosphere blocks out lots of other forms of radiation and allows that, the life-giving light to get to the planetary surface to allow photosynthesis to occur so you can have oxygen. But the amazing thing about the, the window in the atmosphere is UV, gamma radiation, dangerous radiations are blocked out. And so the light of the sun comes right down to the Earth where, where oxygen can be manufactured.